Hi, my name is Rufus Sewell and I play Hal Weiler in The Diplomat on Netflix. So I got sent the script and I immediately wanted to do it because I've been saying for years I want to do a comedy but people send me shit ones. And this was funny because the characters genuinely thought that way. It was organic. It's not whether a scene in itself is comedic or a scene is dramatic. It is the speed and vim with which you move from one of those to the other and back without it being a big deal. That's what creates the tone. And I think that was the thing that I spotted in the first few scenes of episode one that excited me. Maybe it's Kabul. Maybe that's the next move. Oh, you think the nation of Afghanistan's not big enough for the both of us? It isn't. It's a mistake, I think, to read through a script and see what people say about them and write those down as facts. Words are things that get near the truth. They are not the truth. Sometimes they're not enough, sometimes they're too much. It's deadly for a character to be described as handsome before they turn up or charismatic or whatever. It's like, can you take that word out, please? Because I don't like to be told that when I'm watching something. In fact, I'm more inclined to think less of someone if they've been talked up too much. Deb's balance, she's very, very deft. She's no fool. For every one statement, you've got its opposite. I think she's got the balance just about right. I was in the studio at a makeup test and I met Kerry very briefly. We exchanged a few words and I remember thinking, oh, that'd be fine. And it was. A lot of it is just someone who hears you and gets what you're saying. We've all had meetings like that where everything is wrong. Your hands don't touch when you go to shake your hand. You know, it's like the rhythm is off. The rhythm being not a problem is one of the most major things. If it's not there, it makes everything hard work. Obviously, I read every book that I can, but I think the least interesting thing about someone is the uniform. Why it's interesting to watch is what we recognise from the supermarket, the school, watching TV with our family. Anyone who's been in a long-term relationship, you might not have rolled around in a bush and reached for the nearest tree stump to hit someone, but you've had your version of it. You know, the same with the sniffing the armpits, etc., etc. It's those things that make it real. The vice president is going to resign and they want you to replace him. He can't be divorced. Close your mouth. Turn your head.